Greetings, friends around the world. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel, coming to you from Stockholm, Sweden. The reason I'm mentioning them in Sweden is I saw an article in May of 2017. I thought I'd read a little bit about it and then explain some of what I've noticed here in Sweden. It said the Sweden citizens of Sweden are perhaps closer to completely giving up a component of their individual sovereignty than any other country on earth. In a world where government's abuse of power, intrusion into personal lives is blissfully ignorant, enablers grow more disturbing by the day, at least for now, cash offers one opportunity to transact in a truly anonymous way. That said, the Swedes are ditching their physical currency at a breakneck pace, with notes and coins in circulation dropping consistently the last six years, and down 15% in 2016 alone. The notes and coins in public circulation have dropped from an average of 56.8 billion kronen in the first quarter of this year, their lowest level since 1990, and more than 40% below the 2007 peak, with the pace of the decline accelerating to its fastest ever in 2016. As Bloomberg notes, a Swede was saying, 15 years ago I would withdraw my entire salary and put it into my wallet. And now I rarely carry cash, said uh, Las Zavard, the acting vicar of the parish at a particular church, which is uh, about 50 kilometers south of uh, Stockholm. Here's another. A drive for innovation has been created in Sweden to come up with cost-effective and user-friendly alternatives to cash. Cash is likely to more and more disappear as means of payment in the private sector. We arrived in Stockholm yesterday, and so I was wondering what would be different about Sweden if I was seeing more high-tech equipment all over the place for credit cards, etc. And you know what? I didn't. I saw the same kind of credit card machines that are in other parts of Europe, uh, parts of uh, North America, like Canada, the United States, and other parts of the world. It looks the same. So it's not like they have new technology necessarily in Sweden, and perhaps they do, I'm just we haven't run across it. The same basic type of credit card readers you see everywhere. Except here, that is the difference. And that's the everywhere part. What I mean by that is, for example, yesterday we went to the farmer's market, local farmer's market, and we, we purchased some fruit. And in farmer's markets that we're used to going to in the U.S., they expect you to pay with cash. And they do take cash, by the way, the farmer's market in, in Sweden. But they have credit card machines. All the people have credit card machines. So almost everybody takes credit cards. As far as I could tell, the only thing that didn't take credit cards were the occasional uh, uh, beggars. Uh, which you'll see, and they had coins and whatever, so the beggars uh, appeared to pay, be taking cash. I didn't see any of them with little credit card readers. But since I've seen small credit card readers in different parts of the world, it's certainly possible that you might even see this from, from beggars in the future. That I, don't, that I don't know. I'd like to read some more about uh, this article. It says, a lot's been written about Sweden's march toward becoming the world's first truly cashless society. As, as, as the options for paying electronically expand, because you can do it in more and more places, Swedes are increasingly seeing good old-fashioned notes and coins becoming an, unne an unnecessary annoyance. Most forms of public transport, including trams, airport buses, are now completely cash-free. In many tourist attractions, clinics, and shops, you can only pay with credit cards or debit cards. Amazingly, only about half of all Swedish bank branches allow their customers to either withdraw or deposit cash. Yes, you heard that right. Only like half of the banks in Sweden, you can't even bring cash in or get cash out at a bank, which was the hard you think that was all for it. Now, some people want to get rid of cash. They feel that if cash is eliminated, then all transactions can be monitored, and this will help eliminate crime. It's interesting that in the United States, decades ago, they came up with other rules that were supposed to eliminate crime, 
like banks had to report cash transactions uh, over ten thousand dollars and you couldn't leave the United States with more than ten thousand dollars cash without filling out a form and he said oh, this hardly affects anybody it's just to deal with high-end uh, criminal activity but they haven't updated that ten thousand dollar limit in all those decades number one and two the war on drugs if you want to call it that hasn't succeeded there's still crime organized crime is still out there uh, so supposedly this guy was supposed to get rid of that it did not do it and if you get rid of all cash it's not going to eliminate crime either it'll make certain crimes harder to do that's true now some people call cash a curse and they want it gone I'd like to read something though from somebody who's got a different view it says the real reason they want to get rid of cash is the power elite want to abolish currency so they can force everyone into their digital banking system once everybody's forced into the banks it's easy to impose negative interest rates to confiscate your money paper money is the best way to avoid negative interest rates so it must be abolished before an elite plan can be implemented a cashless society forces everyone into the digital bank accounts that can be taxed frozen or stolen by negative rates Getting savers into digital accounts will be like rounding up cattle for the slaughter. Well, it's more than that. What if someone doesn't like you? What if the government entity doesn't like you? What if you have religious views or other views that someone doesn't like? Or what if your credit card is lost or stolen? Matter of fact, happened to me in uh, uh, Barcelona, Spain in the last week. And I can't get another car <laughs> while I'm, I'm in Europe. Uh, fortunately, I brought a second car just as a backup uh, so we can get by over here in, in Sweden. And we're trying to see, by the way, while we're in Sweden, if you can truly go cashless here. And so far, uh, yes, you can. Now, one of the vice presidents of, the executive vice president, one of Norway's uh, largest banks, said that all this is about control. It isn't about getting rid of crime. It's about control, government control. And if you have your Bibles, you might want to read along. I'm going to go to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13. I'm going to start reading in verse 16. Because this is something we're getting closer to having happen. Revelation 13, starting verse 16. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead, that no one may buy or sell except who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man. His number is 666 or 666. Now the Bible says it's going to be a European power that's going to fulfill this prophecy. But powers such as the United States, nations like the United States with some of the technologies making this easier to have happen. And of course, European countries are doing it as well. And we're seeing all you've got to do is to put in card readers in more and more places, credit card readers. It wasn't until the 20, 20th or 21st century that you could do this. The technology was starting to be developed in the 20th century, but now in the 21st century, it's so pervasive. It can happen. When John saw the revelation and was told to write this stuff down nearly 2,000 years ago, you couldn't, have, you couldn't have done this. You couldn't have controlled all buying and selling. It took computers to do this. And now we're, we're getting closer to this time of distress. Over in Europe, they've eliminated the 500 euro note. Uh, in the United States, they've talked about eliminating the $100 bill. Now, some believe that, well, they're going to get rid of all cash. Gold is going to be the solution. But uh, while gold will have some value during the time of the Great Tribulation, uh, as far as putting your faith in gold, uh, let's read uh, James, book of James, chapter 5, starting in verse 1. Come now, you rich, weep and howl, for your miseries are coming upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver are corroded, and their corrosion will be a witness against you to eat your flesh like fire. You have heaped up treasure in the last days. Now one time, the time is going to come when money will fail. The time will come when the U.S. dollar will completely fail. 
And while gold and silver will have some value for some time after that, the only real solution to what's going to happen is repentance in the kingdom of God. Now, we are moving toward a time of a, of a digital currency, more and more of a digital currency, and be able to control all buying and selling. In the short time my wife and I have had in Sweden, we've seen these card readers in various and many places that we hadn't seen in the United States. But again, it's not brand new technology. It's ex currently existing technology just being used more and more and more. People will get more and more used to it. And in Europe, the time is going to come when all buying and selling will be monitored, which suggests, unless there's another way to do it, it's going to be digital. It will have almost, almost no cash or perhaps no cash in the future. And Sweden is a country that is moving toward a cashless society. If you have any doubts that biblical prophecies are coming to pass, ask yourself, how could they say you could control buying and selling when the book of Revelation is written somewhere around 90, 95 A.D.? And now in the 21st century, there are card readers all over the place, and some countries such as Sweden look like they're going to go to a digital currency where all buying and selling can be controlled. It was told in your Bible, you can rely on Bible prophecy. Biblical prophecies are coming to pass. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel.